How's it going everybody? Tom here from Whistle Thicket. I am proud of our homestead this year. We've done a lot of great stuff. Amy's been working hard. Roan's been helping me with the garden. But we have reached a cool milestone for us is that we have had something from our homestead to eat every day for the last three months. So someone in our family has had something from our farmstead, our homestead for the last three months. So I have been out of town a little bit, but the girls still ate our, har our harvest while I was gone. So we have reached that milestone. I think that's kind of cool. I know three months doesn't seem like a big deal to most people. And it's not like we're necessarily having full meals. We do sometimes with salads and things like that. But it may be something as simple as eggs from our chickens, which we have eggs probably three times a week, or we throw the eggs in for baking and other dishes, or deviled eggs if we're going to a party. Everyone loves a nice deviled egg. Or it may be just as simple as having some peaches on our pancakes. So that, sorry, had to go underneath this rope. So that's something else. It, it does not have to be a big deal for what you are trying to eat. So we have had lots of basil, lots of oregano for pasta sauce. We've had cilantro. We still have a lot of other herbs that we're growing. Like right here. This is peppermint. Mmm, man, that's so good. Wow, that is strong peppermint. Mmm, wow. I'm really enjoying that. I haven't tasted the peppermint yet. But we will be making some peppermint tea. We have had an awesome garden. Lots of squash, lots of zucchini. Lots of peppers, so we've been incorporating those into our meals. So we have gone three months where at least once a day we have something from our homestead that we are eating. So that is a pretty cool achievement for our family. I don't know how long we can go. I am not saying I'm trying to go a whole year or anything like that, but that would be really cool. If every day, every homesteader out there tried to have something from their homestead. Um, I am going to start doing some foraging in the forest as well. I'm going to make some sassafras tea. I know a little bit about mushrooms, but I am going to hopefully grow my own mushrooms this year. I tried to do it last year and the plan just did not happen. Our apple trees, I need to harvest those soon. But the garden is doing amazing. I've grown a lot of stuff this year. I haven't kept track, but I think I've grown at least 40 different types of food on the farm. And it may be more than that. I need to sit down and write everything down. These are Amy's beans from her grandma. And we are about to harvest some beans, so I'm pretty excited. I swear I came and looked at these two days ago. There were not any beans. But now, we got some beans coming in. So just after two or three days, these beans have exploded. So I am excited to enjoy some beans. Um, I am really hopeful that the next couple months, we are going to enjoy our harvest. We've canned a lot of pickles. Um, we have a lot of frozen peaches. I'm hoping to still get some blackberries if um, we're able to get out into the whistle thicket and pick those blackberries maybe this weekend. We have lots of stuff still coming in. We have corn, still waiting on our tomatoes to harvest. Um, what else do we got? We got lots of butternut squash. Here's the garden in the background right here. So we are going to see how long we can go where we eat at least something from the garden every day or the homestead 
and this will probably be the toughest year because this is the first year I've had a substantial garden. It will just get easier and easier as I get my, um, I guess, garden figured out and my infrastructure. I'm going to be growing some mushroom logs, like I said. Hopefully in the next two months I'll be working on that. I want to get quail eggs. Quail eggs are like the chocolate of the egg world. So if you've never had a quail egg, you need to have one. They're just so dang good. Part of my language. But they are tasty. They're very tasty. So I am just trying to encourage other people out there, just start a garden. Here's my garden. And three months ago, this was a goat pen. So, three months ago, it was bare dirt. So, even in a season, you can get a pretty awesome garden. And I'm already excited for next year for what I'm going to grow, what I'm going to do different. I've learned a lot from my first big garden on our new homestead. So we've been here three years, but there are so many other things we had to do before I could really focus on gardening. So now I'm able to do that and I am pretty happy about it. It is fun to come out in your garden, see what's ready to harvest. Um, every day I am surprised with how fast some of these crops are growing. My pumpkins are popping, the squash is still producing. There are a few things that I need to work on next year, like my loofah sponges, I need to work on those for next year. But I just want to encourage everybody, see how long you can go where you eat something from your property every day. It doesn't have to be something major, it doesn't have to be a big meal, it can be just one ingredient. And that is a pretty good step towards being more self-sufficient, and if that's your goal, I think that is a great place to start. So I hope everyone is enjoying our channel. If you do, please, please subscribe, leave comments. Um, we don't know everything. I am learning a lot. Some of the stuff I've learned before and I'm just redoing things from a couple years ago. But every time in the garden, I try to plant something I have never planted before. And then I expand my gardening know-how like my loofah sponges aren't doing great but at least i'm out there trying so i hope everyone has a great evening a great morning if you're watching this in the morning and we will see you in the future hey -o.